All right, welcome back fans and friends. For this video, I will be doing, I'm gonna cut ahead. I'm not gonna do the vintage car ads because I just covered with the last video this. So I'm gonna cover its evil twin, the Hitchin Tour Racing Green Light Series 4, uh, die cast metal chases, the green light up there. And this, it's evil twin. I am hoping that it is done, I wanna say better, but literally they could just throw the mold at me and it would be done better than those three over there. So we'll just go over everything really quickly. The rear opening hatch is what's identified as the feature for this trailer. We have the 2021 Silverado, which we'll also be taking a look at, 1969 Camaro RS. So nearly the exact same car as that, even similar paint job. Hopefully the trailer has everything functioning with it. We can see Texaco on the truck and Optima, which is the sponsor instead of the number on the side of the car. Advanced auto parts, so it's a racing team, obviously. Uh, just to the back here, we have green light collectibles at the top. We have the die cast and limited edition up there. So hopefully they have the sticker racing hitch and tow instead of their normal just hitch and tow. And then fortune plus 164. So this they also had on the shelf. Uh, the tandem trailer, I would like it but I didn't want the truck. So instead, I want to do a Chevy pickup truck that's not like a 1500, 2500, 3500 HD. And I got the Silverado. I've done a Silverado before, but I now have this Silverado as well. Hopefully that Silverado is done well as well. So the normal green light stuff, this is obviously 2022, so it's this year, which is nice because it was right on the shelf. So it's nice to have things when they are made. Texaco, obviously. Ford, which is unusual because they're the only Ford product is these two vehicles here. And I guess I've said it before, if they put the name on the package, they have to license it. And the Goodyear tires, I don't remember, but we'll take a look. And then the GM, obviously this is a GM product. So again, we have this. I have to learn what this means because it was on the Bear Jackson, but it was X on the running on empty. And obviously the 83rd day of this year, March we will see if this number matches the number on the bottom of the car because that one did not. This was the same, but this number, the production date, was obviously not the same. And then we have Fortune Plus that contains two die-cast vehicles, so the Silverado and the Camaro, and then the trailer, plus the trailer pin. The assembly instructions, for those of you who are not well-versed with how this works, that is how it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and vent a little bit that I really do like the Camaro. I really did like how they looked in these packages. So if you fans and friends are going to leave it inside the packaging, all the power to you, you will not be as disappointed as I was with how poorly these Camaros have been done. It's just sad. I mean, they released, these were all recent releases. They were all the same vehicle. At what point you're not going to look at your process and say, okay, guys, don't do crap. Just, I mean... They're not expensive, but they're not cheap either. I mean, this costs almost 10. You could get 20. Now about 17 Hot Wheels for the price of what I paid for this. So with this, I have never seen it before, but it has a front guard here. That little plastic thing. Not important, I'm just saying. It's in there. And then you will have the usual green light insert for the whole package, as you can see there. The racetrack in the background. And then the vehicle in its little tray. Not important. It's going to go right into the recycling. I will start with the Camaro. Because I will start with the Camaro. And it is really deep set. So if people are wondering how that's going to come out with great difficulty. The plastic on the bottom is soft. You just push it forwards and up. And the car will come out. So, on the basis of how poorly the last few are done, I'm going to try to go over this as quickly as possible because I don't want to say make a 10-minute video, 15-minute video on disappointment. Cabin, nice and clear. Uh, a little bit of a paint thing here, but I'm pretty sure I can wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. The windshield wipers, done well, at least. You have the venting grills there the hood 
look how easy that is. So just for comparison, we are still struggling with this one. Uh, look, doesn't want to go in. And when it does go in, it does not want to pop. And look, I don't want to bend this. I will need something more solid. I do have something solid, but I don't want to scratch it. So I will pop the hood. We will see if this engine is here. And look how nice they did this. So I'm just going to cover quickly the engine. And then let's release the single by itself that looks like crap. And the engine, engine is even different. So is it aftermarket mod or this and that? I highly recommend just on the basis. If everybody's going to take out the car, get the hitch and tow if you find it. Uh, you're literally, I told, I said I paid $19 for it. So why would you not get the truck and the trailer for 10 bucks? Very well done uh, for one, one, at least with that. Let's just go over the rest of the car. So as we can see, the thing still needs to be filed on that side. Still needs to be filed on that side. It has the slit type lights the bumper is not level you can see sort of a gap i will try to paint over that i mean once you hit the paint it shouldn't be too visible it shouldn't be too much of an issue uh the hood more or less i'm not going to complain about it because i'm excited for how the engine looks very different and very nice the splitter is level so that's nice that shoreham vehicle didn't have a level splitter you can't miss the mark on the paint because it's all white but you can clearly see they did so once again, they glued it like they had two right hands or two left hands, who knows. Uh, the wheels will need to be fixed. I know now how to do it, so I will be doing that a little bit later, not on, obviously on the video. Everything written on the side of the car is very legible. So we have Optima, Falcon, uh, some oil, something oil. Large oil or like... I will look on the Silverado. It'll be a bit larger letters there. QA1, G Lock, and then 18 Optima Ultima Streetcar Performance Oil, Advanced Auto Parts, Cam T. So everything is nice and legible. You see this? It's actually done properly. At least on this side. We will switch now to the other side. And look at that. It's done well. Like they totally missed the mark on this one. Mostly, you can see there how poorly it's done. They totally missed the mark on this one. Look how poorly, that one's okay. But look at that one. So, you either get an opening hood and the rest of the car's garbage, and then you don't get an opening hood and the car is still garbage. So this one so far is leaps. Uh, we see a bit of a wheel issue there. But you know what? I'm so angry, I will just swap the wheels with that one to this one. Because this one, as everybody knows from the last video, the wheels were done very well. See, and look, look how much he likes Camaros. He's just totally disappointed. Totally disappointed. You know why? Because you're not a horse. It would be even more disappointing if you were a horse, buddy. See, look, he loves Camaros. And he's not even a horse. Car does not roll whatsoever. Uh, so I will have to do what I did with the Nova. I will bring that up in like a two-second video soon. Uh, there are some of the repairs I did. It rolls backwards. So we've covered green lights. No, it does not. So I apologize. It does not roll forwards or backwards. Just to the underside. Uh, the GL104. That looks like a GL904. It's not. It's 104. 2028. So we have that exact same defect from the first one where it should say 2018. And then be a re-release. But because of the way it's printed, it looks like 2028. No limited edition number. But the 8322 is exactly the same as what's on the package. So they did that right. Uh, oh, there's a limited edition number. 3865 or 863485 is what we'll go with. So this is a limited edition then. Uh, and as you can see here, see the top of the wheel? It's not level. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to pop the tires out, switch it with that one. So at least one of these Camaros will be able to drive because the only thing that aren't perfectly done on this Camaro is the limited edition sticker because they didn't monkey it up by putting the wrong number. So I'm going to have to say shenanigans on that. But overall, I mean, it's not 
done too poorly. This wheel is okay. You can see that it also has a bit of a wobble, but because it wobbles out a bit, it is not as bad. This one has to be taken a little apart, so what I'll do is I will file. It has a little support thing on the inside there, and it appears to be, you can see there, it bubbles up. So I will just file that down, and then hopefully it'll roll properly. See, he's so disappointed. He's hoping the Chevrolet Silverado is done better. But we will see. That's level. Uh, they made this mistake again. The bumper here is too far out. So exactly like that Camaro. And it's even on the same side. Nothing but disappointment. So I cannot recommend any of these. I mean, if you're going to leave it in the package, leave it in the package. I highly recommend it because... Uh, I used to work in quality, so seeing all this nonsense, you're building thousands of them, that's fair, uh, with the limited edition. But if people are going to take them out and they're going to be look this bad, that's not good. So, let's get out the pickup truck. And once again, it comes to the hitch, so that's nice, the wheels are... They look and look how well these ones want to roll. So, look look for comparison. The pickup truck is done properly, but the rest of the vehicles are not. So I know I will just go over this quickly. Cabin nice and easy to see in. The lights or the wipers are just plastic non-colored molds on the windshield. I don't know if that's a defect. It might be that little bump that they have on top of trucks. So I don't think that's an actual defect. It is simply the hump that is painted. Go to the front. I am not sure what it says on the front of this truck. Z71. So I believe, oh, it's an LT. It's an LT Chevrolet Silverado, but it says, I think, what is Z71. Problem is, is that it is Z71. Hey, no toothpicks for you on the front of the truck there. The lights are all nice and painted evenly. Chevrolet, nice and smack dab in the middle. Nothing mispainted on the front of the vehicle. It is very heavy. So I'm just going to say it is at least heavier than all, like at least three of these cars. And I know it's a pickup truck, don't get me wrong. But as a vehicle, this is very heavy. Uh, windshields are rear view mirrors, as you can see, are flat level. I'm using the cat's paw to contrast it. No major mispainting except for that little thing, which we've already given it a pass because it is the aerial hump. Uh, lights done perfectly, no miss paints. The bumper is nice and flat. Uh, it is a little bit faded on that side, but uh, it is the easiest thing in the world to repaint this. It is not difficult whatsoever. And then we have this stuff here, which I said was on the a little bit harder to read on the Camaro because it's a lot smaller. The 18 Optima Ultimate Streetcar and the Advanced Auto Parts. Easy to read. Easy to read. And I. It says Z71 right on the side there. So this is the top trim level. I wouldn't race this, but it's the top trim level for this vehicle uh, with the most powerful engine. I would have to look at what the engine is. Unfortunately, this part is just etched in and stamped. It is not a separate cutout like we saw for the uh, louvers here and here, but not on those two vehicles. Bed, nice and evenly painted. I think that's just a speck of dirt. No, it might be... Anyway, I'll use a microfiber cloth later, but everything here is level. You can see the holes for the tarp, all nice and neatly done. The trailer hitch is centered. So everything they did wrong with those ones, they did right with this one. All the door handles, nice and evenly painted, no missed keyholes. There is that line there. I don't... Yeah, it's a missed paint. So, okay, so they missed one thing then. This here should not be here. Should look like this. And then we have Texaco at the back, printed on, no major issues. The lights are molded in and then painted over. They are not inserts, at least, uh, yeah, the whole vehicle, there is no inserts. The Chevrolet is sort of etched into the back there, is a little bit hard to read. We have the handle, nice, okay, done. The light, you can clearly read the LT. I will try to angle it. You can see the LT there. You can see the Silverado there. Nice and evenly done, no problems. So the one major issue can be is two major issues. That little there, I can file that down. And the line here, 
I didn't see it from the package outside. But anyway, not important. I'm pretty sure this vehicle was... They made all... Sorry, they made all the mistakes with the vehicles there. And then they did it right here. So more or less, this vehicle has done very well. The Camaros it is associated with are not at all. So... Just onto the underside quickly, we've already done the roll test, the wheels run well, there's the spare tire, it is just a stamping as part of the bottom of the vehicle. There we have the dual exhaust, the vertical type, there's the muffler. We have the green light 2019, and it's easy to read, doesn't say 2029, doesn't say anything like that. Made in China, the letter a little bit small, which is highly unusual. And then the 08322, exactly the same as what's on the Camaro, exactly the same as what is on the package. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say if you want a Silverado, you're going to have to deal with the mess that is the Camaro that it comes with because the Silverado's done well. We have 2021 Chevrolet Silverado. I would like for them to put the trim level, the Z21, sorry, 71, but it's written on the side of the vehicle. It is printed on the front of the vehicle. So the one vehicle that's done well for this series of videos is not the Camaro. It is. And it sits flat. No wobble whatsoever. When it rolls, no wobble. And then the final piece to this very unfortunate puzzle is the trailer. And I do see a few problems, but I mean, I'm not really surprised at this point. I will be... Taking the tape off, they tape the uh, pin that goes in the trailer. I want to say very securely, but they literally just shove the tape over top of it. The reason for that is so nobody loses it. It's just to make, the, as everybody knows, the goes in there like that, and then you just wind it down. So we'll also see though, because with the trailer or the AeroVolt, I only recently noticed that you can actually put the station wagons inside it. So I am confident that this one will fit the Camaros, any one of them. We have choice of two Texaco. We have a choice of the Z28s. One, one of them is also a rally sport. So it is the literally the highest trim level. All right, so the pin doesn't want to go in. It's going to need to be either drilled out, but either than that, I guess we're running on a series of defects here. The only thing done right was the Silverado. I'll just go over it quickly. This is done okay. We have no major paint issues on the front of it. Nice big T, central there. Air conditioning, central there, and everything painted nice and level. The lines especially is probably really hard. A bit of wheel wobble, so that's what I was saying to everybody, is this. A lot of gap there. So, 2014, re-release, green light, made in China. We have the exact same number, matching number. So if you do a serial number kind of person, the 8322 is exactly the same. The 14562WB, exactly the same as what is on either the car. Or the truck. Yep, exactly the same. And so I will hopefully complete this video. I have to basically drill this out. Uh, not going to be fun because it's plastic. So putting any sort of a metal on it, you will go way overboard unless I get it in right now. No, it doesn't want to go in. It is stuck. So that is disappointing. Does it fit? Yes, yes, it does fit. It does roll. It's not like that uh, Sedan Deville did not want to roll. I apologize, but there's a cat. But we can all see that it want, wants to roll. We all know the Silverado rolls because it is the workhorse of this group. The only one that wants to work. And then now for the opening trailer, it has a nice finger joint there. Pops open. No major issues. Uh, is that a defect? Yes, it is. So I will have to, right there, file that down. So if this Camaro fits, all of those Camaros will fit. It's just 
Yeah, right, right in there. Like, there's no issues. All right, so the trailer also was uh, done well. Not perfectly, but done really well compared to everything else here done poorly. This is the Green Light Series 4 Hitch and Toe from the racing line rather than just the Hitch and Toe. I highly recommend it because the, well, for me anyway, the Camaro was done way better than the other Camaro. So if you want a worse Camaro, plus you're going to technically pay more for it, uh, get the AAA grid running on empty. You get a little bit more instead of 18. It does this. But if you if you can, look on the shelf. Make sure everything, if you look through the plastic as much as possible, there are still issues with this car. Uh, for one thing, look at the back, how terrible that's done. You have the gap there, the gap there for the bumper. It's just not lined up. The license plate's blank. That's a disappointment. <laughs> Once again, that. So, And all of these Camaros had these issues. So it's not just this one. This was simply the best of the lot. The hood opens wide. The engine is three or four different colors, so it's easy to see. Compare that to this, where you can barely see it at all. And compare that, this doesn't want to open. So for 1969, I go by what I see. I can only recommend this one, and this one you can only get as part of the set. So... That is it, fans and friends, for this long video, but I hopefully compared as much as I could. Uh, we don't have the door issue that we had there with the keyhole. So at the very least, you know, it was done okay. So there we have it, fans and friends, the Hitch and Toe Racing Series 4, Camaro, Silverado, 2021, 1969. Thank you everybody for watching. As you can see, he has started to take over the whole screen because he loves the Camaro. Perhaps not these green light ones, but the Camaro in general. Anyway, thank you for watching and till the next one.